Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of Make a Game for Free. In this episode we're going to be creating the start menu. If you want to check out the previous episodes there will be a link in the description. I'm just going to tell you before we start this is super super simple and easy even though you might think it's hard but let me show you. So first I create a new scene and I called it test start menu. You can call it whatever you want but this is the scene where your start menu will be. In this scene I had a canvas and a button. I'm just going to show you my settings on the object but you can customize this any way you want. So I set the width and height to 250 by 80. I changed the highlighted, pressed and disabled color to a dark gray. Then I edited the text object on the button. I used a font called Riffic. I'm gonna leave the link to that font down below. I set the font size to 62 and I set the color to black. Next I copy pasted the button twice so I can create a options button and a quit button. The width and height on the options button are 300 by 80 and everything else is the same as on, as on the play button except the text now says options obviously. And the last, I create a quit button, which is absolutely the same as the play button, but it only says quit and not play. Last thing I did in the editor is I create, created a empty object and called it main menu. And this is going to hold all our buttons, our main menu buttons. And I centered it in the screen. You can place it wherever you want and parent, play, options and quit button to the main menu. And the most important thing, I created a script called main menu and attached it to the main menu empty object. Now first, set the script to use unity engine.scene management. And then I created two public voids. One was play game and quit game. So the public void play game is just going to load the next scene. So you say scene manager .load scene, and then you put uh, the name of the scene here. The name of the scene I wanted to load was called testing level and in the public void quit game you simply say application dot quit. That's it. That's all you have to do in this script for now. Go back to the editor and under play button you will see a on click kind of box where it says non object drag in your main menu because that's where our script is click the box where it says no function go down to main menu and select play game so this is gonna call our play game event once we click on the button now go to your quit button and do the same thing for it except select the quit game event if you test it now you will see that it works really fine and if you guys enjoyed if it helped you be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want to see anything specific and, um, you know, subscribe helps me out a lot and go follow me on Twitter and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.